Hey everybody, I'm Passmore Nope, and welcome back to Let's Play Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. And I thought I heard one of these guys, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that guy right off. So we're back. Actually, I have to make it back to the hut. Because the save feature did not save my exact location. Man, it feels like ages since I've played this, even though... I mean, this is Saturday. I meant to do this Friday night, but nah, it's Saturday. Uh, kind of late afternoon. But hey, I said I wanted to wait and uh, do this, so here we go. Oh, I always wonder if I'm losing body parts in those things. Holy yakow! The Red Sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the dark eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets. And now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eagle by itself. Even the precursors... Until now, we've too. had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon. We will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the Dark Eco of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer's heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Maya and Gaul have gotten in over All right. their heads. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to these right guys and get some more quests here. There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider caves. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders! In the spider caves, right? Of course there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! And let's talk to her real quick. Hey guys, keep collecting power cells. They're the key to continuing our journey north. Gee, thanks. I'd totally forgotten that that was the entire point of the game. <laughs> All right, so I, I said I wanted to make a little commentary about it. Uh, uh, it's mainly about the villains in the game. I just... Who are they? I mean, you finally learned that, like, they're the Dark Eco Sages, but, you know, why exactly did they go mad? I mean, Dark Eco is painted as, you know... Uh, antagonistic force in this game, but like, what does it do? Jack fell in, or Daxter fell in it, and body slam it, there you go. <laughs> and got turned into a little furry animal. Jack falls in it, and he dies, you know. I have no idea what it does. Exactly, you know. Seek the pure light, for within its flame, the answers reside. You can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. How many do we have? Oh, okay. Might as well you get two. Uh, another power cell. Get two power cells right here. But yeah, I mean, 
I'm really nitpick, nitpicking at this point. I mean, they gave the villains Full motivation and reasons for their actions. Lord. They covered their ground. But it's just, you know, you just don't know. They, they, they're they not present throughout the game. And I like games where villains are very present. Like, um, Golbez in Final Fantasy IV. You know, that guy's in your face all the time, screwing with you. And yeah, it turns out he's just mind controlled in the end, but I really hate when games do that. But, and also, why is there two of them? It really doesn't matter. When you get to fight the final boss, it's not like you fight them both. You fight, well, you'll see. But <laughs> there, there doesn't need to be two of them. I just don't get why there is. There's not two of any of the other sages. I just think they could have done it better. That's one area where they could have improved, like the bosses and the overall antagonists in the game. Hey, Gordy. Uh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us too. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cell, not gem. We got four of them. Duh, you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is... We may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Oh, they're silly. Uh, go get more power cells. Right, Why not? Ready. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. One exciting episode. I tell you what. I'm making a big comeback from my dismal performance of the last week. And, of course, they have even more, I do believe. Uh, Gordy? 90 orbs of power cell, Willard. <laughs> and we... I hope they gave us more. No? here and go back okay don't forget our deal bring us 100 orbs Duh, you said 90 oh i don't have the orbs required <laughs> Once run out power cell. okay yeah <laughs> that, that's the problem all right so yeah let's do you hear that ah it was right right beside me all right yeah i'm really sorry about last week i oh man i Woke up early Sunday, and I'd actually been up for a good while, but it was still like 10.30 in the morning, which turned out to be too early, and then the sun started rising and blocking my freaking view. The gondola. It can take you to Snowy Mountain. Use it whenever you want. Um, uh, so do we do that right now? Go ahead. Yeah, let's get some action in this freaking video. Let's go to the Snowy Mountain. This is, uh, the, uh, snow area of the game. The uh, de facto snow area or whatever. <laughs> every every platformer's got to have them. It's kind of weird. You're like, I guess, in a volcano, and then but but the volcano on the outside is actually a big snowy mountain. I, I guess that's not crazy because wouldn't like Mount St. Helens wasn't that kind of snowy or something? I don't know. But here we have it. It also seems like they just kind of crammed at this last last section, well, last section of the game here, because uh, those those two stupid miners tend to give you uh, like all of your quests. And my square button must be something. I'm not used to the controls or something. Yeah, those guys spawn. Oh man, these guys are just like uh, the Dark Eagle Plants minions. You gotta wait for them to uh, put their little spiky bodies in. And I was hoping for a scout flight now. Okay, yeah. Once again, man. Missing them left and right. Alright. Out of here, you little jackass. And yeah, I don't know. I just. I just kept dying last week. Didn't feel like my commentary was any good. But this game auto save, and I was like, I just don't feel like going back and replaying the game. 
So I believe we want to come up here first, and I might, I might actually die and take a hit here. These things are gonna roll up and down here. This, this thing's kind of really get to one shot. I'm gonna say that and I do it one shot. Yeah, I definitely want to avoid getting hit by these. Okay, we go. Okay. Yeah, these are. Oh, there you go. I was about to explain why these can be difficult. I know I hit the last two in one shot. Uh, that death is uh, somewhat acceptable. Uh, I figured I'd take a hit there. So these guys just keep popping up. Uh, but yeah, they, they, that little force field around them. Oh, you ain't gonna bring up your spiky body. <laughs> it can knock you back, and that thing just knocked me right into the boulder. It just happened to. I just screwed my jump a little bit. So I'll accept that death. Go. See, so yeah, I just gotta jump on the buttons there. It helps to do the uh, O button float. The... Oh my god. Give me your own head. Uh, let's see. Do I need something? Yes, I need dark, uh, dark ego. I need red ego. Because over here, you'll see, we'll deal with a special lurker. Whoop. Yeah, there. And take care of him. And once all of his minions are gone, Sky will jump down. And yeah, what makes him tough is the shield. But if you have the red ego, you can burn it away. Go. And I thought we... Am I wrong? I thought we were supposed to get something for that. Uh, let's check our menu. The two lurker glacier troops. Oh. Deactivate the precursor blockers. Oh, I guess I gotta get all of them and then I'll get a... <laughs> I thought you got one for each one for some reason. Um... So yeah, in the areas of this game, you'll they'll start to reveal what the final boss is going to be. Uh, you can see this is, I guess, trying to get through to some machinery or something that's frozen under there. I'm not sure. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Alright, is this all that's up here? Please? So, we can go ahead and get back down the mountain. Or get back down this little path here. Not quite the mountain yet. And there's a little path here. I guess we'll go down here. I kind of forget the most efficient path to take in this area, so eh, I'd be a little jumping around. That's all right. Oh, yeah. I gotta say, it feels a little weird to sit down and just record Jack and Daxter and not do Mega Man X first. Because <laughs> I finished up all my episodes last week. And here we have the ice mechanics. Here we are. Slip and slide. Uh, you could jump to kind of stall your progression there. Also, punch and that'll bungee uh, in one direction. Go! Yeah, these would be a little harder to hit do it from the snow or something. Slide mechanics. Still oh no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I missed, missed my uh. Little jump there. there we go. And what's over here? We got more things to deactivate. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, get out of here. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's go there. Oh, get up. Get up. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I was gonna reveal my next uh, LP, let's play, that's gonna replace Mega Man X in the Mega Man X video finale, but they, they don't typically get a lot of views. Um, which is fine. It's an overplayed game. I don't expect it to get a lot. So I'm gonna, I might release like a little vlog thing. I might do it right after this uh, recording. <laughs> get that damn egg. Okay. Yeah, I might release a little vlog, vlog update to, to go ahead and do that. Uh, I just, uh, I did, did. It happened, man. I don't know what. And we're already, I'm at 15 minutes, which is what I typically tend to keep these videos to. All right, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get this, and that'll be the fucking episode. 
pardon my French. But there we go. That's your episode. Be happy. Let me kill these guys and we can end on a safe note here. Yeah. Alright. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. We'll continue on the snowy mountain. Maybe even finish it. Who knows? Thank you for watching and goodbye.